already one of the UK's leading universities in solar and space physics, Northumbria University has set out its ambition to become a world leader with the announcement of NEST, a new £50 million centre dedicated to groundbreaking research and development projects, training the next generation of space scientists and bolstering the UK's position in the global space economy. We visited Northumbria to find out more about its plans. Northumbria University is already pushing the boundaries of space research. Now the creation of the Northeast Space Skills and Technology Centre, NEST for short, will cement Northumbria's place as the centre of excellence at the heart of the UK space industry. Funded by the UK Space Agency, Lockheed Martin and the University itself, NEST will be a £50 million centre, driving research and innovation, supporting the economic development of the region and training the space workforce of the future. Well, NEST will be absolutely game-changing for the research we can do here at Northumbria University and also for the way in which we can support, drive and develop the regional space economy. The investment in NEST is incredibly important. It's going to bring £50 million of investment overall to the North East and this will enable us to train the next generation of space sector workers. This is a new sector, it's growing rapidly. We need people to understand mission control, people to understand how to build a spacecraft that can withstand the conditions in space, as well as people to design new ideas for how we can use space to support our everyday lives. When most people think of a satellite, it conjures up an image of a hulking piece of electronics that weighs a ton. But in fact, this is a satellite. It's called a CubeSat. And here at Northumbria, they're developing new ways for them to communicate. Northumbria's pioneering work to revolutionise how CubeSats communicate with each other using lasers instead of radio frequencies could transform the satellite industry. But it's just a taste of what's to come. Nest facilities will turbocharge the university's existing collaboration with industry. So Nest is this uh, space incubator. It's a facility that will be a beacon in the UK. It's a national asset for space technology innovation. And it's going to attract new businesses, even more businesses than we've already been able to collaborate with, to come to Newcastle, to come to Northumbria University, and to work with us on thinking differently about how satellites work. NEST is a very exciting opportunity for us. It gives a company like E2E the ability to collaborate with other companies, big and small, and particularly with academia, so we can drive development of technology, but more than that, to drive development of skills and capability. And it's very important for us to see new skills coming through and new people with those skills that we can take into our workforce. The UK's rapidly expanding space economy will need a large influx of highly skilled space scientists, and NEST aims to meet that need by recruiting the very best students and upskilling those already working in the sector. We will be able to build up st uh, state-of-art labs, infrastructures and resources which will foster future space missions within the UK. I believe that through NEST we can attract more world-class researchers, academics and students. If you want to do amazing things in space, you need to train the next generation. You need a highly skilled workforce. Because of NEST, we're going to have the opportunity to offer these students the chance to actually get their designs, their devices launched into orbit within the lifetime of their degrees. The £50 million funding for NEST is coming from the university, the government through the UK Space Agency and a key global player in the space industry. NEST allows us to bring Lockheed Martin space one of the largest satellite technology and space companies in the world, into the UK, into the North East. And they will allow us to supercharge our work with the regional space ecosystem, working with SMEs and other companies in the UK as we progress towards launch. Northumbria is on track to launch its laser-capable CubeSats in 2025, the same year that NEST will be officially up and running. It's estimated NEST will bring more than 350 jobs and up to £300 million of investment to North East England. We used to build ships on the Tyne, now we're going to build spaceships. And this is just part of the natural evolution of the industrial base of this region, towards digital, towards technology, towards the industries of the future.